Saturday, March 14th, and it is still raining, you guys. The garden is just a soggy, soggy mess. So, I'm going to take these trays, clean them up, and work on the greenhouse because I have some things in there that need dividing and some things that I just need to take a look at and see what's going on in there. Here's an update on the tomatoes. These were planted on February 23rd. There's the tansy that I had to replant and I've got a couple of little sprouts in there. These tomatoes were planted on the 7th, so a week ago. Most of them are sprouting pretty well. These are mainly seeds that I saved from last year. So I'm curious as to whether they're going to be true to what they were or something else. <laughs> I have a pink tomato, a yellow tomato from my dad, some cherry tomatoes from the farmers market, sweet basil with its tiny tiny leaves, this is Mrs. Burns lemon basil which I'm pretty excited about. I really like all the different kinds of basil and there's a lot of different things you can do with them. This year I have lemon, cinnamon, and sweet Last year I only had sweet and Genovese, which is uh, very similar to the sweet. And this is parsley, which is not sprouting yet. But I expected it might take a little while. This is why I have a cover over the mini greenhouse. All of them want to get in there. Here's the pepper tray. These are looking really strong. They've been growing, well they were planted February 1st, so they've been growing for about a month today. They are doing better than I expected under the light in the mini greenhouse. I was afraid that I had planted them too early and they were going to get really spindly. But as you can see, it doesn't appear to be the case. They are looking solid little seedlings here. And although the germination rate isn't so great on some of them, As long as I have two or three plants of each one, I should have a really good variety. Lufa gourds are getting big. I hope they don't get too big before I can put them outside. Still have about a month to go before all these warm weather plants can go out. The Tennessee dancing gourds. These are the status flowers. They're really cool. I grew these before a long time ago. And the squash seeds are starting to pop open. There's my chamomile. I think I have two plants out of the whole thing. I don't know how many seeds are in that packet, but it was a lot. I did buy some more seeds, and I'm going to just uh, put those in here and get what I get. And then if they don't seem to do well, once I get these in a pot, and you can see how tiny they still are, once I get those in a pot, I'll just throw the rest of the seeds in there, I think, and just hope for the best. Tomatoes and tomatillos in this tray. I did pot up a couple of these. I'm trying to keep them down to one plant per cell. This cell has the birdhouse gourds, which are not sprouting yet, and I'm not sure if they will. Those seeds were pretty old, but I planted them anyway just to see what happens. The 
tomatillos are getting a little laggy, so I may repot them just to get them down in the ground a little more. I don't know if you can see that, but they've got a lot of little hairy roots trying to start there. And some of them look really good. And some of them, not so much. But, like I said, if I get three or four plants of each one, I'll be satisfied that that should be enough. The Rosella and the Bumblebee. Pantano Romanesco and the Cosmic Eclipse, which are looking really strong. And I may pot up a couple of those and see if my dad wants to try them and see what he thinks of them. The Purple Russian. Golden King of Siberia and Moneymaker, which are seeds I actually got last year and didn't grow. So we'll see how they do this year. I also have White Beauty, which I got at a seed swap, and those came from Baker Creek. Here are my squash starts. I'm thinking I may have made a mistake here. <laughs> These guys are going to get gigantic if they don't fall over and die. Definitely going to have to find something bigger to put these guys in. However, since squash is my favorite vegetable, I'm pretty excited about the possibilities here. But these guys already need potting up, or I need to figure out a way to get the light onto them better. Maybe a combination of both. Here are the hollyhocks. Not a great germination rate, but a few, and if I can get them started this year, they should reseed themselves after that. The marigolds. Cilantro, a couple more cilantro plants, and the oregano. Now, I'll tell y'all, I am firmly in the cilantro taste like soap, so nope, I don't want to eat it. But, someone here likes it, so we're going to grow it. Look at the roots on this sweet potato. Okay, we got the greenhouse straightened up. I separated the marigolds, started some celery and the last of the celeriac seeds, and I hope I get some, but that one just hasn't done well at all. The marigolds are looking good. Got some of the squash potted up. The greenhouse is full. <laughs> so. Here's hoping I don't need to put anything else in there. Look at the hyacinths. The peas on Sunday, March 15th. Awesome. Spinach. And look at all the root veggies. Got radishes, turnips, rutabagas, loads of sprouts in here, and a crawdad hole, as usual. Everything is still soggy, and that terrible rain that was so heavy just destroyed the row cover and the bamboo. It's supposed to rain more today, so if I can get out here and work on this, I will but I may have to wait a day or two. In the meantime, the lettuce doesn't seem to be having too much trouble. And it's not going to freeze, it's just very rainy and cool. Some of the beets are recovering, which is good because I was worried about them. And honestly, I don't know if I'll start beets inside again. I don't think I will at this point. Still no signs of life in the mums. The onions. Hanging in there. 
It got cold again. A couple of days we're supposed to have 75 for high. Sure doesn't feel like it right now. Today is Sunday, March 15th. We're just soggy, muddy, mucky, and cold. I'm not sure that I will get outside to do anything today. I do need to get the row covers fixed. I need to get some other things planted, but that may have to wait a day or two. I think Tuesday is supposed to be our warmer day, so I'm going to consider waiting until then. Yesterday I did get a lot done with the mini greenhouse, so that's encouraging. And my flower seeds are coming along. The tomatoes are doing well. Peppers are doing well. Pretty much everything that's in there is doing okay. Uh, some things are in danger of getting a little leggy, but I'm not going to worry over much about it right at this moment. And today, since it is cold and soggy and mucky out here, I think I'm just going to stay inside and work on some crafty projects. Monday, March 16th, 2020. No signs of life from the pawpaw tree yet. And the ground is still very squishy. I am going to scatter the swamp rose seeds back here, some of them, and see how they do if they get started well enough. They'll fill in this row nicely. Few tiny things over here. There's a nice bunch. I don't know if you can hear all those geese in the background, but they are noisy. Today I need to get shallots in the ground and plant the next round of radishes and scatter some flower seeds along the fence. Shallots are in the ground. And I've decided to take the row cover off for now because, as you can see, my bamboo quick job isn't holding up too well. And until I can get out here and work properly with the PVC pipe to get it back on, I'm just going to leave it off and I'm going to take that bamboo out. We are not in danger of any hard freezes in the near future, so I think we'll be okay. The onions are growing. Some of this lettuce looks really good. Elephant garlic from Haas Tools. Coming along splendidly. I hope everybody is doing well, that your health is good, and that you're not too nervous about the situation right now with everything that's going on. And I hope everyone has a good week.